Sometimes you just need a simple layout for a blog on your Joomla website. Well, I've got one for you. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin. In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple module from Joomla Shack that helps you lay out your blogs in attractive ways with just a few clicks. All right, let's dive in. So here I am over at joomlashack.com, and I'm looking at the Shack article layouts. It's not free. It costs $49 per year. But of course, Joomla Shack is always running specials, and I'd encourage you to check one of those out. Here are the main features of the Shack Article Layouts module. Now it is a module, and I'll explain that in just a minute, but it's terrific. Here's a live demo. Here's a three-column magazine layout, a three-column cover layout, a two-column blocks demo, a wide demo, and here's the default demo in three columns. Well, how does this look practically speaking? Well, I installed it on my own blog. I don't blog a whole lot, but here's my blog, and it's the standard Joomla output from the blogging menu. Well, I went ahead and added a module and embedded the module in an article called blog. And now here's the difference. You'll note that my layout here isn't exactly right. I've not planned my read mores and my images quite as well, but at least Shack article layouts is giving me some nice definitive column layouts. I really like that. Well, this is the standard layout. And here's what it looks like in the back end. I'm going to change that to blocks and click save and hit refresh. And once again, you've got that block layout. The module nicely splits everything up even when I don't have pictures. And here's the magazine layout. Once again, I've not paid attention to my pictures very well, but this is a real world scenario, not just the demo. And you get the idea. I really like that zoom effect on the magazine layout. And of course, we have a read more. And here is the wide layout. Again, I really like this. Depending on how well you structure your images and your read mores, this will get more and more consistent. Embedding this in an article is really simple. I just created a position called blog underscore layout, and I used the load position plugin code to get the module to show up in my article. There's a couple of different ways you can do that, and the documentation over Joomla Shack is really good. So while this module isn't free, it's really versatile and really quick to implement. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. I'm Rod Martin, and thanks for watching. If you like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode.